Okay, this is a big watch. So Boulder just sent me their new 45 millimeter Odyssey dive watch and if the pictures and specifications uh, tell the story, this is going to be kind of a beast of a watch. I'm really excited to check out what they are offering. You know, I reviewed a Boulder watch a long time ago on the channel, um, back when they first started as a brand. It was one of their first models uh, and I've kind of watched them grow and evolve and been curious about checking out some of their more recent stuff. So I was excited to see them reach out and offer to send a piece over for review. Now today is going to be only an unboxing and first impressions of the watch. I will be following it up with a full review sometime in the future. <laughs> I always do my best to let you guys know um, just the arrangement behind receiving the watch for transparency purposes. Sometimes I forget, so I'm sorry if I have not done that on all the videos. This one, I'm not quite sure if this is a watch I'm gonna get to keep or if I'm gonna be shipping it back to them. Um, let me just read you what they said. We can work out the loaning or gifting later. Let me arrange for a piece to be shipped to you. So, here's hoping. Anyways, um, I'm gonna throw the paid promotions flag just to be on the safe side, uh, but yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this watch or send it back to him. However, as always, regardless of the arrangement of the watch, I'm gonna give you guys my full and complete opinion and let you know how I feel about it. So, let's get this thing unboxed and take a look at what Boulder's putting out now. Okay, that's a pretty substantial box. This is a very solid plastic case here. Um, I imagine it would protect the watch well. Yeah, nice padding there. And look at that guy. So Boulder is making no excuses about this one. This is a substantial watch. This is for guys who want a very solid, big piece with a lot of wrist presence. Yeah, and check out that silver dial in the middle. The reflections there is really cool. Really sparkles. Let's get this packaging off real quick. Okay, let's take in the design for just a minute here. Um, I think this is really exemplary of what Boulder has kind of turned into uh, they definitely have their own style, their own design uh, that is seen across a lot of their watches. You know, they do watches of all size, but I feel like they're kind of getting known for these large, heavy-duty kind of pieces. Very tough looking, lots of angles, lots of cool facets. Very substantial. I mean, just look at how thick that bezel is. You know, a lot of times maybe a bezel with a grip like this might be harder to get a hold of, but because it's so large, um, yeah, your fingers can kind of just fit right into those grooves. Makes it pretty easy to turn. The bezel action is very satisfying. It's pretty smooth, just the right amount of tension, I think, and absolutely no back play. Uh, really nice feeling bezel. All right, let's talk dimensions and specifications on this guy. So you're getting about 45 millimeters across. A pretty substantial 53 millimeters lug to lug. A little bit over 16 millimeters tall, including that domed sapphire crystal. And 22 millimeter lug width, so yeah, there'll be a lot of straps for this. Yeah, but here's the other interesting thing. So you got a kind of a pretty massive 53 millimeter lug to lug. They've gone with male end links that actually extends this even further. So if you count it to the widest part of the bracelet, actually jumps up to 59 millimeters. So a lot of guys are gonna find this too large for their wrist with a lug-to-lug -lug and a you know, extended lug-to-lug -lug being that large. But there are guys who like watches that appear oversized. Uh, that is still a thing. That's still a fairly large trend. These large watches sell very well. So if that's your style, this might work well for you. You are getting a screw-down crown with a very substantial 500 meters of water resistance. This is a helium escape valve on the side, and this is a Miyota 9015 movement. So a little bit of a premium movement. You get that really smooth sweeping, 28,800 beats per hour, second hand. Sapphire bezel, lots of loom all over everything. 
bracelet, very angular, uh, very nicely machined, uh, feels very fluid. Those are screw links there, which will make sizing easy, which I will do in just a second. Very substantial clasp to match. Six micro adjusts on the clasp, so that's really cool to see. You should be able to get a pretty good fit with that. Nice milled clasp there. Get the little flip up lever and then double push button. Really cool case back also. Um, looks like an octopus with a trident, but kind of broken into a lot of these little triangles. Pretty detailed. This one looks like it's numbered 48 out of 200, so I'm guessing they did about 200 of each colorway for this run. All right, let me size it up real quick and we'll get on rest. Okay, so there it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. I had to remove three links and then I scooted the micro adjust in to the third notch from the largest. And I can just about get away with this. I think I, I'm not getting any overhang even with the male uh, end links there. And yeah, it's pretty comfortable. It does feel top heavy. but it is a really cool looking watch. Um, yeah, with summer coming around the corner, you're gonna be wearing less long sleeves. Um, so maybe getting away with something this size will be a little bit more feasible. Good time to release this. But yeah, I'll be looking forward to trying this one out and giving you guys a full review in uh, probably a couple weeks here. Let's go ahead and close out with a quick loom shot. Okay, so it looks like they've gone with BGW9. Let's go ahead and charge this guy up and see how it goes. Okay, so that's a pretty good strong glow. Now you're getting a fully loom bezel, like that nice round loom pip up there, and lots of loom applied to the hands and markers, really thick, uh, yeah, big blocky indexes there. Pretty cool. Be looking to doing a full loom breakdown of this guy in the full review when we get to it. The Odyssey 45 is available for $650 from Boulder's website. Um, when I checked, they had a $30 off uh, coupon available for people to sign up for their newsletter, so that's something to check out if you're interested in this watch. But again, I will be doing a full review of this watch in a few weeks' time. Okay, so that's the initial unboxing. Again, full review to come. So if you are interested in this watch, definitely ask you to subscribe if you're not already, so that when I do the, do the full review, you can see more in depth what this watch is offering. If you are interested in watch collecting or purchasing a watch, but you don't have a lot of money, um, I think this channel will find a lot of things that will interest you because this is a channel that's all about watch collecting on a budget. I don't have a lot of money to spend on watches myself, so I'm always looking out for good values and trying to bring those values to you guys. But I don't just review watches, I also talk about watch collecting and try and talk about different aspects of watches and all kinds of stuff. So, uh, I enjoy talking about watches and I'd love to talk about watches with you. So subscribe, leave me a comment and hopefully I'll see you down there. But thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.